What is celiac disease? In this training video, physicians affiliated with celiac disease centers in the United States will provide an overview of celiac disease and important information for managing a child living with this condition. At the end of this video, viewers will be able to describe celiac disease and its common symptoms, identify a strict gluten-free diet as the current treatment, name at least three symptoms of a gluten exposure in a child with celiac disease. Let's get started. Celiac disease is a chronic immune condition which affects approximately 1% of the global population. When patients with celiac disease eat gluten, which is a protein that is found in wheat, rye, and barley, their immune system is stimulated which leads to inflammation and damage to the villi in the small intestine. This means a child with celiac disease is unable to effectively absorb nutrients from the food that they eat. Blood tests and small intestinal biopsies are used to confirm the diagnosis of celiac disease. Biopsies show damage to the gut. We haven't figured out exactly why someone develops celiac disease, but we do know that people with celiac disease always inherit at least one gene from their parent that makes them susceptible to celiac disease. Just having the gene itself doesn't mean that someone will get celiac disease. There still has to be some sort of trigger from the environment. And some researchers believe that celiac disease may be triggered by the combination of having one or both of the genes that make you susceptible, being constantly exposed to gluten, and then finally being exposed to some sort of toxin or an infection. Both inflammation and malnutrition caused by celiac disease can lead to severe limitations of bodily function. I'm talking about limitations not only on eating, but also in the way in which their immune and digestive systems function. These limitations lead to complications that have significant effects on children and their families, as well as on the learning institutions they attend. Celiac disease was first recognized in young children ages 6 to 18 months of age, who classically had symptoms of bloating, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and other signs of malnutrition. Until recently, this classic presentation was the only one described in medical textbooks. However, improved diagnostic tests have uncovered a much more extensive list of signs and symptoms of celiac disease. And it is now recognized that celiac disease can develop not only in childhood, but also adulthood. There are hundreds of recognized symptoms of celiac disease that can affect any system in the body. While we typically think of things like abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting, and other gastrointestinal symptoms. Children can also present with fatigue, headache, joint pain, skin rash, depression, learning difficulties, or they may present with no symptoms at all. The only current treatment for celiac disease is a strict gluten-free diet. This means that all foods with wheat, rye, and barley must be eliminated from the diet. The immune system can react to barely visible amounts of gluten, so it is equally important that all foods not be contaminated by coming into contact with any other foods that do contain wheat, rye, and barley during their preparation and service. Gluten is found in some school supplies, including modeling clay like Play-Doh, finger paints, paper mache, and certain sensory table objects. A few medications and supplements contain gluten, as do some lotions and sunscreens. A child with celiac disease will not experience anaphylactic shock if they ingest gluten. However, they may experience symptoms such as diarrhea, severe abdominal pain, behavioral changes, lethargy, skin rashes, headaches, among many others. It is important to recognize that some children may not have immediate obvious symptoms post-ingestion. Accidental ingestion of gluten affects the child's ability to learn and seriously endangers their health, both immediately and in the long term. The good news is that with a strict adherence to a gluten-free diet, children often begin to feel better, that is, they have less symptoms in as little as one week from starting the diet. But it usually takes much longer for the small intestine to heal completely. Fear of gluten exposure is a huge deal for celiac families. We see some families where they go so far as to alter everyday activities, such as dining in a restaurant, having meals with grandma, and participating in activities at school. In many cases, these families who are subject to excessive hypervigilance are prone to severe anxiety and even depression. This is why it is so important that there is a strong partnership between medical providers, 
families, and learning environments to set up a comprehensive plan for managing these children. We want them on a strict gluten-free diet, but not one that excludes or isolates them from normal life. In the second module, you'll learn about managing a gluten-free diet and how to help a child with celiac disease stay healthy by providing access to safe gluten-free food.